What's up, y'all? This is your favorite dread head. I'm back with another video. I hope y'all having a blessed Wednesday. So what I got today, I got some juicy burger today. So that's what we're gonna eat today. I got some onion rings. Look at this. Some good old big onion rings. Oh. And then I got, oh, this looks so good. The juicy burger, y'all. Look at that. I guess I decided to do a, a car mukbang or whatever you want to call it today. Um, yeah, I told y'all I was gonna be hitting y'all with some more videos or whatever. But before we get into this, let's pray. Lord, thank you for this food. Thank you for the hands that prepared it. Let it be nourished to the body, the spirit, and to the soul. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Let's see, y'all. I haven't had juicy burgers in a while, so hopefully it still tastes good. But let's get into this bite so we can see. Mmm. Pretty good. Mm. I got a sweet tea for the drink. Yeah, have y'all seen any of this? Oh, you're big too. Yeah, that onion ring was pretty good. Oh, come here. Onion ring got a crunch to it. Mm. I'm glad I don't. Mm. Mm -hmm. God is good, man. Mm. 
no matter how no matter how life <clears throat> turns out and how hard your day is, you know what I'm saying? Like God is good. I've been having some some tough some tough couple of days. But sometimes you just gotta give all praise to God, no matter what the situation is or how you feel, because there's always somebody out there that's having it rougher than you. If you feel like giving up, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you this. Giving up is not an option. Never, ever. Give up. I don't care what the situation is. Don't give up. Better days will come. You just gotta be patient. Yeah. <sighs> and sometimes we gotta stop I'm being in the driver's seat. and let God do what he needs to do. We need to be in the passenger seat and let God drive this thing. We all make mistakes, we're not perfect. But sometimes you gotta humble yourself. And when you humble yourself, God will bless you with more. When you get the hate out your heart, God will bless you with more. When you stop envying people for no reason, God will bless you with more. And it's crazy because us as a black black race, we sometimes, we can't, it's like we can't uplift each other. But all the other races out here can. They can uplift each other. They give each other positive feedback. But us, we can't do it. It's like, if we see somebody doing good, oh, they ain't going to have this long. If say somebody get a call, oh, they ain't going to have this long. How do you know that? You know what I'm saying? You got to get the hate out your heart. That hate, that's why you're not being blessed. When you have hate in your heart towards people that haven't done anything to you, God is not going to bless you. Every, without faith, there's nothing. So stop envying people and stop being cold-hearted towards people that's actually done nothing to you, but you just don't like them because of they might be popular than you. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't. Life is too short to be hating somebody because of what they do or because other people boost that person up. Or you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you can't do that. You're not going to get nowhere. You're going to be in the same spot. You might get a little something, but it's not going to be the full potential of what God really has for you. And if you're around anybody that is negative and jealous and hateful and cold-hearted, all of, all of the above, you need to remove yourself from that situation. 
because when that person is like that sometimes when when you around that that type of that type of vibe God sometimes hinder your blessing because you're you're with that person just because you're not doing it it don't mean nothing you know what I'm saying like you gotta people gotta change man like everybody you got to change stop hating people for no reason you know what I'm saying stop beefing with people for no reason I can promise you if I walk up to somebody that I know they beefing with another person and I ask them why you don't like this person, you can't even tell me because the beef is so old. It's so old. So why keep it going? Why keep holding on to the beef and you don't even know why you're beefing? I don't know. I'm just saying. People yell up all day long that they're changing and they're grown. But if you're grown, why are you still holding on to stuff that probably happened in high school? I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Maybe I never will. Maybe I never understand why the African American community can hate one another so hard but as soon as one of us gets shot down by the police, Black Lives Matter. But but when we kill each other, Black my Black Lives sh still should matter. Where you finna go? Where you finna go? Who you telling truth? Uh, y'all. Hey. So that's what I'm saying. Like, we can get gunned down by the police, and it's old Black Lives Matter. Let's ride, da 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 da. But as soon as one of us, but as soon as one of us kill one another, I don't hear nothing about no Black Lives Matter. I don't hear none, none of that. I don't hear it. Why is that? It should go hand in hand. Like, we got to stop killing each other over something that's petty. We need to stop. We need to come together. Because y'all fail to realize if we all come together, we're very powerful. And they don't want that. Use your head. They don't want us to come together. They don't want us to be united as one. They want to keep us divided. They want to keep us hating each other. We got to stop. Like, it's time for us to stop. It's time for us to put all the, the BS to the side and come together and run this thing. Like Nipsey said, if we come together, they cannot fool with us. They can't mess with us. And that's, and y'all like, y'all don't know it. Yeah, like y'all don't know it. Yeah, like y'all don't know it. Maybe y'all know it. And y'all just don't want to do it. It shouldn't be like that. We need to start coming together. I'm telling you, they can't stop us. Hmm. I still look at this, y'all. This burger is too big to finish. I'm gonna finish what I can. But I just wanted to put something on y'all mind today. 
but I'm gonna um, get ready for work <clears throat> or whatever. Um, I pray y'all. I pray y'all have a blessed day. We have 24 hours in a day to do something positive. What do you want to do today? That's positive. What kind of positive energy are you going to put out there into the atmosphere today? Y'all think about that. Please like, subscribe, and share. Leave your comments down below. I love y'all. Envy Nation. I'm out. <laughs>